Can you imagine if you put chips on a plate, right? Yeah. And then you covered that plate and chips with cheese. Yeah. And then you covered that plate with chips and cheese. I'm with you. With gravy. No. Yes. And slow cooked chicken. It's our epic chicken Canadian Putin. Putin is amazing and it starts with an amazing gravy, which means we need to roast off bones. The bones we're using are chicken wings. Amazing. To roast our chicken wings, place them in a single layer in a large baking tray and in a hot oven at about 220 degrees Celsius, give them a good 20, 25 minutes so they are really golden brown. What kind of chicken has that many wings? <laughs> the other base to our gravy is a whole bunch of root vegetables, roughly chopped up and quickly fried to get some golden colour on them. So that's onion, garlic, celery and carrot. Sounds like a miracle to me. To serve alongside our poutine, we've taken some carrots, we've peeled them, we've chunked them, seasoned them with pepper, maple syrup, Canada. salt and oil. Maple syrup, yeah. Canada. And then he's roasting at 200 degrees Celsius for about half an hour. To get our gravy on for the long haul, take your roasted chicken wings and place them into a deep pan with your sweated off vegetables. Then add plenty of water to cover it, bay leaves, peppercorns and a glass of red wine. Heat to a boil and simmer gently for at least four hours. Now traditionally, poutine is just chips, gravy and cheese. But we thought if you're going to go to the effort of making a gravy, why not go to the effort of making some chicken to go with your gravy, chips and cheese. So we're going to make some confit chicken with our chicken legs. And all we're going to do is pop them into a roasting tin with some goose fat and water, some garlic cloves, some thyme and some rosemary. And then we're going to roast it away at 150 degrees Celsius for about how long, Ben? Three hours? For about two hours. Make two sure hours. you cover it with tin foil. Slow cook. Once your stock's been bubbling away for several hours, pass it through a colander to get rid of all of the chicken wings and veg, and then pass that through a fine sieve into a saucepan to get a really clean gravy. Reduce that down by about half. Some clever person once said it's pretty difficult to make poutine without French fries. So we're gonna make some French fries. Now there are lots of different ways you can make French fries, but they all start with potatoes. Potatoes, which I prefer not to peel, cut into French fry shapes. You can either bake them in an oven on a baking sheet with a little bit of oil, nice hot temperature till they're cooked through and crispy, or you can deep fry them about 170 degrees Celsius for five or six minutes, or you can use a low fat fryer, but they take a bit longer. Our gravy, now that it's reduced right down, you have the option of thickening it slightly with a little bit of corn flour dissolved in water optional extra, but you kind of want it to cling you to the chips. You want it to cling to the chips, don't you? Yeah. Once your chicken is cooled enough to handle, rip off all of the moist succulent meat, give it a bit of a chop, and just before we serve it, we're going to place some of it in a really hot pan with a little bit of oil so bits of it go crispy. Our wonderful crispy fries. Cheese curds. Squeaky cheese. Slightly more difficult to get hold of mm. in the UK but if you ask your cheesemonger, no trouble. Look at how rich that is. Oh. Proper gravy, it takes a while to make, but it is absolutely worth it. Some fresh things on here, I've gone for celery leaves, Ooh. because obviously you've got that nice bit of savoury flavour. We've got celery in our jus. And also, celery's one of your favourite foods, so you've, you've, you've got some leftovers. Yeah, plus, yeah. they taste great. There we go, a big plate and bowl of comfort. It's our Canadian poutine. Sorted. Sorted. Oh man. <laughs> I might go live in Canada. Yep, this is perfect. And if you want more warming dishes for a cozy night in, then click on the eye up here and we've got loads of them. <laughs>